This is, yes, an 80 plus pound Doberman Lab mix. And this is the Dog Walk Chronicles. Two or three days ago, I bought four avocados and there were only three on the shelf. So a quick call to the vet, a quick look up in the internet said that avocado was not necessarily good for the dog. So I observed him for 48 hours and he seemed fine. Today, he's decided to eat tulip bulbs that were sitting on the floor in a pot waiting to be planted. So now I called the vet and they sent call and I called poison control and they said to give him hydrogen peroxide and peanut butter and induced vomiting, which was probably 15, 10 or 12 minutes ago. So we should be waiting for some vomit soon. So it doesn't, apparently it's not poison. It just might get clogged in his system, in his intestines. So we're barring, I'm not gonna do it twice. They said give him two doses if necessary to induce vomiting. If he doesn't vomit, then phase two, continue to observe and give him uh, pumpkin puree or uh, four pieces of whole wheat, just plain whole wheat bread with each meal for the next two days or three days. So, this is the Dog Walk Chronicles. In between poison control and walking the dog, today is Ash Wednesday, first day of Lent, and the gospel. The first reading is from Joel, I believe, the book of Joel. I don't remember the chapter and verse, and I don't remember the psalm, but I do remember the gospel. I don't remember which one it is, but it's the story of um, giving alms and, um, wait, is that correct? I believe it's giving alms and uh, Praying in private, not out in public so people can see you. Fasting uh, and keeping yourself shaved and clean so people don't look at you and, and, and go, oh, what a good boy am I? What a good boy are you for fasting and giving alms so your right hand doesn't know what your left hand's doing or the vice versa. So in private so people don't know and congratulate you because what you get praised for here, you've already been praised. But do these things in private for God to see, and He, and that's your real, that's the reward you want. You want to do these things to please God, and when you please God, He's He's going to take care of you. Well, either way, but He's going to take care of you. So uh, this Lent, try to fast. I'll try to remember that. Try to give alms. I think that would count on giving time too. So if you don't volunteer for something now, I suppose you could volunteer, but certainly dropping some food in at your local food bank or feeding, caring for the poor in some fashion. And prayer. Prayer is always the answer to a Catholic. Did you pray about it? Well, no. Well, then go pray about it and then come to Father, to the, your priest and ask him for, for his advice. But first go to God and pray and ask him about your issue or your problem. Go in prayer in the private of your room and God will answer you. I was speaking to somebody earlier today and said, you have all the answers. They go, oh, how am I supposed to believe in God? How am I supposed to believe in heaven? And I said, you, this, he says, this is preposterous. How, how can I believe this? And I said, you have all the answers you need, God, provides everything you need to get you to heaven because that's what he wants everything you've got at your disposal i've given him certain uh logical uh proof texts for god for different things i've tried to be a good example and i said don't try your brain is what the size of our fist. Don't try to put, wrap your whole, your little fist brain around what is God, which is all, uh, all encompassing. Don't be so presumptuous to think that you're going to get all the answers. I said, go to heaven, work your way to heaven and ask when you get there.
But in the meantime, we all have everything we need. So pray, fast, give alms, and have a fruitful Lent.